A date which will live in infamy, being remembered across the country today. From wreath layings in New York City to remembrance ceremonies in Minnesota, people across the country honored those who lost their lives on December 7, 1941. More than 2,000 Americans died when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. And every year, the number of living survivors of that attack is fewer and fewer. Today, we sat down with a veteran from Saginaw who was there on that fateful day. I didn't know anything about the Navy. But George Schmidt joined anyway in 1940. Now, at 96, he still chuckles about his days aboard the USS San Francisco. We had a bosun. Oh, he was a mean sucker. I think the ship breathed, breathed a sigh of relief when he left. <laughs> the year after he enlisted, on December 7, 1941, he was in Pearl Harbor when he heard the Navy's bugle call for aircraft defense, the same one echoed during their frequent drills. Sunday morning, I said, no, what the heck, we got to practice now on Sundays too and see these planes come. And I said, boy, it's realistic today. They take long to find out they were nervous. Amid the ambush from the Japanese, Schmidt's ship had no ammo, so we ran to another to return fire. I could hear the, these bullets splattering on the cement. Soon after, he saw the harbor explode. Big cloud, big cloud of smoke going up. We got off some few, few shots. I was afraid at first, but uh, it went away. I, after a while, I didn't. I wasn't afraid anymore. Schmidt saw more than 2,300 of his fellow war heroes die that day. He's estimated to be one of the roughly 2,000 people left who remember the date that will forever live in infamy. He didn't have much to say about what he hopes others do on the anniversary, but he hopes we never forget just how significant December 7th, 1941 is in American history. Just a day to remember. I'll never forget it. And we certainly want to thank George Schmidt and his fellow World War II veterans for their service on this Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day. The U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs estimates there are about 496,000 World War II veterans still alive today.